right, we've arrived. Let's do this. Corner butcher shop doesn't get any better than this. So we are gonna cook a Sheldon turkey today, which is the most amazing turkey. The best thing about Shelton's turkey, it's never been frozen. It's always fresh. And no antibiotics, no drugs, no hormones. I think their phrase is, our turkeys don't do drugs. We're also gonna cook an amazing ham today. Comes pre-sliced, it's all Duroc pork. Pigs that are out of the cage, roaming the farm. When the ham's finished, the spirals all open up a little bit. So always save a little bit of your base to get it in between some of those at the end and then let it sit for a while, put a piece of foil over it, and it's gonna be incredible. Today I'm gonna be stuffing the turkey with apples. I'm gonna be taking the corner butcher shop rub, which is your, your garlic butter sauce. If you guys don't have this in your refrigerator, you're missing out. Quite frankly, I use it on everything. I put it on toast. Your turkey should be cooking at 350 degrees, 15 minutes per pound. We've got a 14 pound bird here, so let's do the math. So this is probably gonna take four and a half to five hours to cook. There's our turkey, there's our oven, and let's say goodnight to the turkey for a little while. One of the other tricks to keeping your turkey nice and moist is baste it every hour. Putting the foil over the top of the turkey, that's just gonna keep the heat retention in, and it's gonna get that skin a nice brown, crispy look. When we take the foil off in about an hour, we're gonna baste the turkey again, like I said. Now I've added some heavier duty gloves for this cast iron pan because it gets very hot. We're gonna pull the turkey, it's at 165 degrees, and it's still gonna cook a little bit, so we're pulling her off. So the back sealed bags are simple to open, as long as you got a sharp knife. And remember, having a sharp knife less chances of you getting cut opposed to having a dull knife. We're gonna smoke this ham for about an hour and a half at a very low heat. When it's all done and we get the flavor of all the charcoal, we're gonna finish it off with a topping of a honey, brown sugar, and seasoning topping. Make sure when you're smoking a ham, you smoke the ham by itself and then put the topping on for the last 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna have the ham face down. If you leave it the way it is right now, it's just gonna open up and all these slices in between here are just gonna dry out. That's plenty. Go to the next one here. So there's our hams. Look at that nice spiral ham. Look, you could just actually peel this off, take a little piece. Let's try a little taste. We did good. Sounds delicious. Oh my God. What time's dinner? Yeah, we're eating today, aren't we? Okay. So again, corner butcher shop. Thanksgiving, Christmas, it's all coming. So put your orders in early.